So I put this video together as an update to and an explanation of the IDS columns map of the supplier Amazon Matcher profit calculator system. Um, Zorro is specifically what I'm looking at. If you have version 3.2, the most recent version as of the date of this video, you may have Zorro.com in your columns map. Now, uh, however, as it turns out, depending on how you pull up your products on Zorro, there are actually two different columns maps that you need, which I just highlighted in yellow in the separate sheet. If you have uh, received a copy of the system December, uh, September 6th today, uh, perhaps maybe after 12.30 p.m., it should already be updated on your copy. Otherwise, you need to go ahead and um, put these in. This video might have come uh, through an email message where I have already sent this to you. So there are two columns maps. There's a Zorro brand page and Zorro search page. So the difference is that if you get if you pull up your products by searching for something on Zorro, like if you search for uh, desks, and then you scrape it with the Instant Data Scraper Chrome extension, the IDS Chrome extension. That is a different CSV. That's one CSV, and that is the uh, Zorro search page CSV. I'll zoom this up a bit. Okay, that is the Zorro search page, which is a different, has different column headings from uh, the other way that you can pull up products, which is you might go all the way to the brands okay page on Zorro and you might select one of these brands and pull up a products list this way when you scrape these products with the Chrome extension you actually get a different CSV so for that you will use the Zorro brand page alright so when I originally made this columns map I had some uh, domains like walmart.com you don't actually have to have a dot com you just need to have a name all right so that is basically what i wanted to show in this video and if you need to update it yours should look like this um you can just delete this one the zorro.com and you can copy and paste the other two down here so you can basically just take these from this file and you can just copy these and you can just paste them right here right and really you don't actually need the Zorro.com anymore so you could just delete this right click delete alright and again when you do a brand search use Zorro brand or brand when you pull up products by brand on Zorro you use this one when you search for a product you use the Zorro search and by the way um, this is something that I've shown in some videos you about this tool that you can actually do yourself you can look if you import a C CSV and it's not working, always look at the columns map. That should be the first thing. All right, see if the CSV is matching the columns map. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and import a CSV right now. The Zorro 11, which I believe I did as a brand. I might. I think I pulled this up with the, as a brands page. All right, replace current sheet. So. If you were trying to import a brands page and it simply was not working, right? It would not have worked with that Zorro.com columns map. You need it, okay? Because this is a different format. So you can always check your IDS CSV. Check the column headings. Check the title, product title. This is product dash title for the titles. Then you check your columns map. Does your columns map also say product dash title? Okay. You you check these. You make sure that um, your URLs head and matches, your prices, your brand, your model number. If they don't match, that's going to be the most common reason why you might import and something doesn't come out. All right, so now all you have to do is select. In fact, to do the import, now all you have to do is select either Zorro, uh, Zorro brand page in this case. This is a brand uh, CSV I just imported. And I'll just do import. All right, so you have to make sure you have the right supplier map before you import. Leah, just wanted to make a quick video um, updating you on this 
detail and uh, you should be able to just update this just by copying and pasting it um, to your columns map but again if you just purchased it uh, or if you purchased it after a certain time on September 6th I would say about 12:30 p.m. I already added that new columns map to the file so you should have it already otherwise you can do it so keep in mind the brands page does not a page that you pull with or by brand these products don't seem to actually these pages don't actually have the brand scraped when you scrape it with the CS uh, instant data scraper the brand does not actually come out for these okay if you look at the CSV you don't see a brand column but the thing is you already know the brand of all of these because you pulled it up by brand you know that these are all 3m so what you would do is just put 3m just want to make sure I show you that detail and do that all right and that's all you need to do you just put that 3m in there because you know these are all the same brand right as opposed to doing a general search on the Zorro.com where you end up with different products with different brands all right so for this it's all the same brand all right and that's about it um, prices will come through a little slower than everything else and uh, just let me know if you have any questions like before and um, look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around